Hi, I'm Miranda Evans. Danielle, come meet Miranda. Come on in. I'm Pete. This is Ellen. Miranda, meet Danielle. Hi, Danielle. Hi. Come this way. The agency tells me you're studying child development. Yes, Mrs. Randall. I hope to make child care my career. <laughs> well, Danielle should be easy to care for. She'll probably spend most of the evening in her room. Okay, just a few things. Danielle's allergies are listed in the blue section. Acceptable foods are in the yellow section. The pink section contains approved TV programs, and phobias are in the purple section. No problem. Okay, emergency numbers are in the book. Just call her cell if you have any questions. Now we're late. Good night, pet. Have a good time. Okay, you too. Be good. Bye, Mommy. Bye, Daddy. See you, honey. So I'll bet your room is pretty cool. I picked the colors. Do you want to see? I'd love to. Miranda Evans has a bond with children. She understands their problems, their fears. But tonight, she will meet a special little girl with a very unique problem that will stretch Miranda's bond with reality itself. That over there is Ursula Unicorn. And this brown horse is Hans. I got him for Christmas. And you want to know a secret? My mom doesn't know I know. But for my birthday, I'm getting the little girl who rides him a bridle and a saddle. Wow. These dolls are beautiful. Do they fit in your dollhouse? They're not to play with. Why not? They just aren't. We could play a game. I have Clue and Eloise Monopoly. A girl power, name that state, it's educational. Oh, and I've got Herd Your Horses. I love that game. Herd Your Horses sounds great. Well, what are you doing? One of the dolls fell, don't you want me to fix her? Is there a key? I'll do it. You have to be really careful. you, Danielle. She's just a doll. I've got a Kleenex. You are traveling to another dimension. A dimension not only of sight and sound, but of mind. A journey into a wondrous land whose boundaries are only that of the imagination. You're entering the Twilight Zone. I think Shelly's mad at me. Shelly? Why would Shelly be mad? Because I want to play with you and not with her. Do you get mad when someone doesn't want to play with you? No, but Shelly does. She's very jealous. That must make it hard when you have friends over to play. Shelly must get angry a lot. I had a friend, but she moved away. And Shelly's a new friend. She thinks I should just play with her and the other girls. The other girls? The dolls? Yeah, but you're my newest friend, and I'm gonna play with you. Downstairs where Shelly can't see. Okay, let's go downstairs and make some cocoa and popcorn. I can't have sugar after seven. Well, this is a special night. Let's make an exception. Can you do that? Let's go crazy. Cool. I 
love chocolate. I do too. Shelly doesn't. Really? Nope. But Katie loves chocolate. The Belgian kind. And Katie is... Well, she's the one next to Shelly. In the ski outfit. She went to the snow with us. Katie's afraid of the dark. And that's why I have to have a nightlight. So you're not the one afraid of the dark? Well, I'm mostly afraid of spiders. Angie's afraid of the water. Isn't that weird? Chetty's not afraid of anything. We used to watch Buffy together. She wanted Buffy and Spike to hook up. Do you even know what that means? No, but Jenny really wanted it. Wow. Your dolls sound like fun. Sometimes. Sometimes they aren't. Anyway, you're my new best friend. Oh, I forgot my game. I'll be right back. Sometimes the child is gifted and thinks differently than his or her peers. The child can be subject to fantasies, imaginary friends, and antisocial behavior. Danielle, what's wrong? Oh, no. Shelly, she's gone. Did you take her out? She got out by herself. It's your fault. You left the key in. Why don't you get the horse game? But Shelly could get hurt. Okay. Where do you think she went? She likes the dark. Then let's go look in the dark. Lock the case first. Where's the key? It's not there. I bet Shelly took it. Let's go find Ryu. Let's go find Shelly. Where should we look? Mom and Dad's room. It's really dark in there. She can hide. I'm not allowed to go in there. Do you want to wait in the hall? I think she's downstairs. chocolate. This could have hurt someone, Danielle. I know. Why would Shelly be mad when I love her so much? Sit down, okay? Danielle, I'm your friend. Do you feel like I'm not paying enough attention to you? I didn't break anything. Shelly did. I told you. She's mad, and I don't know why. I take really good care of the girls. Do you think they're mad at being locked up? But that's where they live. If they get out, they could get hurt or lost. I have to take care of them. I'm like their mom. Have any of them ever gotten out before? When you're upset, maybe. Shelly got out once before. She broke my mom's Chinese teapot. Did you tell your mom that Shelly broke the teapot? I told her it was an accident. So when your mom's not here, you don't blame things on the dolls? You're psychologizing me. You think I'm making all this up? I'm not stupid. I don't think you're stupid, but maybe if you told your mom that you'd rather take the dolls out to play with instead of locking them I up. I can't take them out of the case. I told you. Why don't you believe me? It hurts. Shelly tripped me. Stay here, I'll call your mom. No, we have to put Shelly back. You're hurt, Danielle. I have to call your mother. We have to put her back now. In a minute, Danielle.
Mrs. Randall? Mrs. Randall? It's Miranda. No, this is not an emergency. I just need to know where the first aid kit is. Danielle cut herself. No, no, she's fine. It's just a little cut. All right, honey, let's go upstairs. Don't leave Shelly. She'll do something else bad. She's right here. Okay. All done. Better? We have to put Shelly back. Danielle, sometimes people, even parents, don't always tell you that they love you, but they really do. If you tell me where you put the dolls, then we can talk about how... Don't you see? Shelly hid the key and then made sure we would go downstairs so she could come back up here and let them all out. Shelly's a doll, not Sydney Bristow. We have to find them. This time, you tell me what you did with the dolls. We can put them back and then go play a game. I didn't do anything with them. Shelly let them out. They never all got out before. Okay. We're going downstairs. I'm going to do my homework. We and can't. We have to find them before they do something. Let's go, drama queen. Look. Very clever, but it won't work. Did you do this? Up for you? No, it fits. See? I'm phoning your parents. They moved. I told you. Mrs. Randall, it's Miranda. Look, there's some weird things going on here, so I'm gonna take Danielle and go to my house until... What's wrong? It's okay, I'm gonna call your parents on my cell phone. Children who play alone may be at increased risk for later problems. Shelly, I don't know what you and your freaky little friends are up to, but I'm taking Danielle and getting out of this horror movie. Stupid bitches! 
them, didn't I? They're not after you. I don't get it. They're just dolls. They're not just dolls. I can carry you. They won't even be able to reach you. Where did you get that? That's mine. It's mine. Give it back. Danielle. My daughter hysterical in the closet. She's 10. Yeah, well, this is the third time a sitter from your agency's walked out and left my kid alone. I want to talk to the manager. Really, Danielle, these were all over the house. Just what were you doing? I thought you were gonna play quietly. It's no wonder we can't keep a babysitter when you behave like a wild thing. I'm sorry, Mommy. I know you are. But you know the rules. You're grounded to your room for the weekend. Good night, Danielle. Turn on my nightlight for Katie. You were all so bad. I have to ground you forever. You're never getting out again. I wish you'd stop hating me. It'd be nicer if we were all friends. But you know the rules. This is your new friend, Miranda. Now you all be nice to her. Miranda Evans thought she could help a little girl overcome her fears. Now, Miranda will be able to ponder the true meaning of fear from inside a glass prison known as the Twilight Zone. 